All right, so for today, I think I'm gonna be doing the Chickaming Trails. So uh, I think I'll just be doing two today, maybe three, we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you there. All right, well, this is the beginning of the Harbert Road Preserve, right along Harbert Road. As you can see, right next to 94, so it's a bit noisy, hopefully the woods deaden the sound a little bit but we'll see how it goes hopefully it's still nice here it looks pretty well groomed yeah this one it's got a few loops along here nothing crazy but yeah that's it out little pavilion area here at the start of the actual trail, where it starts to go off in a couple different directions. I'm gonna head this way. It goes right along the highway for a little bit and then it loops back over through the woods and spits up here. So, we'll see how that goes. Right along the edge of I-94 here. Never even realized that this is a trail down in this section. Once you get back into the woods here a ways, it does get a bit nicer. Not quite as loud, but I mean, you can definitely still hear the highway over there. But it's a nice trail. It's a big tree. Look at that. It's a huge tree. Anyway. Yeah, this is a, a cool trail. It's just a bummer that the, the highway is so loud next to it. After that little swampy area we get into the pines here now if memory serves me right these are scots pines or scotch pines they are not native not quite invasive but they do replace native pine trees like red pines and white pines still they're pretty trees tell by the exfoliating orange bark species. Doing these trails in winter is probably not the best idea to get a real understanding of how the trail is supposed to feel, but don't have a lot of 
option of that. This summer, I should be heading out to California to go watch for wildfires out there, so I'm hoping that gets squared away soon. But anyway, this project I've been wanting to do, I just haven't taken the time to actually do it, and now this will probably be the last time that I actually have free time and don't have to worry about fitting it into a schedule, but I don't mind. Cold's usually not too bad. Today's been the coldest day I've gone out so far. It's like 18 degrees outside or something. I'm layered up, so. And while I'm out here, I can work on my winter tree identification. So, that's fun for me. I enjoy it. I'll probably be pointing out a few different species as I go along here. I think those are shagbark hickories. You got those big long strips on them. You can just peel them off. But yeah. Coming up on the uh, gazebo that I started at. So I might make this one its own video for now, just because I did end up recording a lot. I don't want my videos getting too long. So might do this one as a separate upload and I'll be heading to some of the other Chickaming Harper area parks sometime soon. I really, I really did like this trail. It's a really pretty trail. They've got three different loops in there. One that's the Savannah Trail and they've got the emergent wetland and the woods and I just ended up doing the the loop that goes around the whole thing through the majority of all three. And it's a really pretty trail. I really like it. I'll hopefully be able to come back out here once it's warmer and the leaves are coming back out on the trees. But it's just a bummer that the highway is so loud. I almost wish that this trail was tucked further in the woods, farther away. But there's a bunch more trails in the Chickaming area that I'll be heading to. So hopefully I'll find one that's similar, but just in one of those quieter areas. All right, so I did decide to do one more trail. This one's not very long, so this will probably only be a few minutes, but this is the Jens Jensen and Pepperidge Dunes sanctuaries in Harbert, right behind uh, Sawyer Highlands Church, I think, right off Red Arrow. But yeah, this is a, a little trail that I wanna check out, so I'll show you what that's like too. I think this is the blueberry patch that I used to go to all the time with my family. I can't remember the name of it, but it's cool that you can just get to it from along the trail here. A lot of little streams that go across here. They do have these bridges marked for them, but they're easy to miss sometimes. Cool little spot though. Not a very long trail at all. I'm finishing up the last part of it now, but it's a nice little area. I like the little informational signs they have up, little benches for just hanging out at. It's a cool spot.
like this one. This is one of those trails where most people aren't going to notice the, the differences in scenery. It's just a lot of trees, not a lot of features on the ground or anything, aside from the few streams that run through, but... Ooh, I'm seeing it on ice. It's nice that uh, they do have stuff pointing out to people. The different types of forests out here and the different trees that they have. There's a lot. There's a, a lot of different types of trees they have here. It's cool to see that they're actually trying to teach people about it. Love that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today then. So, uh, I liked, I liked the Harbert Park. I, I thought that one was really cool. Uh, it was definitely one of the bigger ones in the area, but it's just, it stinks that it's right next to the highway and it's so loud. So, I don't know. I might head there another time once it warms up, if I can. Um, but the Jens Jensen and uh, Pepperidge Dunes, that was a really cool one. That was a surprise. I, I liked how small it was. I liked um, how it was accessible to a lot of people and they had a lot of um, informational signs out there. I thought that was really cool. I love seeing those out there, so. Yeah, I think they were both pretty good hikes today. So, yeah, I'll keep going with the, the Chickaming ones, so keep an eye out for those. But yeah, thanks for watching.